Continuing coverage tonight of a fire that left one worker injured and an entire neighborhood shaken. The fire broke out at the Kip Corporation plant, a foundry on Atwood Avenue on Madison's east side, just before 5 o'clock tonight. And Tony Morrissey is in the newsroom with more on how the fire was has reignited controversy over that Kip plant. Tony? Well, Eric, people who live and work near the Kip plant have long complained about pollution and chemicals used in the building, and a fire involving a metal alloy tonight isn't making them feel any safer. A flashing lights of fire trucks and hazardous materials vehicles are frightening sights in any neighborhood, but this east side neighborhood is a little more on edge than normal. And it will put us all on edge again to, to what's going on over there. Diners at Bunky's Cafe are enjoying their food, even though the Kip plant just across the street was evacuated. 60 second shift workers were forced out when aluminum dust sparked a fire in a dust collector. The fine dust uh, just uh, sparked and, and started the, the filter system on fire. The foundry that melts metal for auto parts uses substances like magnesium and aluminum, substances that have made this plant a target for neighborhood concerns over pollution. And because the plant has dangerous chemicals, firefighters used a special powder to put out the fire instead of water. If you try to use water to extinguish them, uh, it can cause a violent um, explosion. But there was no violent explosion, just a lot of activity that frayed already frayed neighborhood nerves. We do have some chemicals in other areas of the building which were nowhere near this. So they came out on a precautionary measure and possibly take air quality readings so we knew when it was time to go back in the building. The injured worker suffered flash burns, but he was treated and released from University Hospital. All employees were back in the building just after 6.30. KIPP estimates $20,000 in damage. It's interesting, Tony, they can't use water to put out a metal fire. How does the fire department prepare for those types of emergencies? Well, Eric, the fire department has a game plan for all companies where complex emergency situations can develop. Not only does KIPP have a special powder on hand itself for those metal fires, because of advanced planning by the fire department, the department knows the powder, rather than water, might just be needed. All right, Tony Morrissey reporting in the News Center tonight. Thanks, Tony. The aluminum and zinc die casting factory has been on Madison's east side for 104 years. Kip says it is a good neighbor helping build the economy with 600 jobs. But many living near Kip have been complaining for years, as Tony mentioned, that its smokestacks are the source of many neighborhood health problems. The DNR and Kip both say no air quality standards have ever been violated. New